All right, hey everyone, I'm back at it again. I'm gonna go out on the bike. Um, today we're gonna do the Wilmington Cross City Trail. Um, we're starting at Halliburton Park, so uh, we'll give you a little bit of a look at what the trail's all about. We're gonna go over to Wrightsville Beach and then try to get back over here. Hopefully it won't get rained on. So, so the first part of the trail, you're going through Halliburton Park on their walking trail and kind of parallels along 17th Street. So I'm just kind of checking it out here. All right, so I made it out of um, Halliburton Park. We're right now going past the point, which is a shopping movie area. And kind of again running along 17th Street. I'm headed toward the Cameron Art Museum. So we'll be going by that and then up along um, Shipyard Boulevard, I think. In that sort of direction. Independence Drive. This is the part out past Shipyard. So we're just kind of following traffic here. Nothing too exciting. Nice lake here. Right, so coming up to our first street crossing at Shipyard and Independence. See how long it takes. Hit the button. All right, I guess we're gonna have to take matters into our own hands. So made it across the street and we're on our way. already so and we're right near the mall but the trail ends right here um, actually there's right before the activity center at that red light up there we should have crossed over on the other side the trails over on the south side of the road so we're walking our bikes over there so we can pick it up again So just pay attention to that when you're, if you're riding. All right, so we're across the street from Independence Mall. Um, the trail runs on this side of the street. And so we're just following that south. If you look here on the map. Go up around MP Park. All right, we just passed over Oleander Drive and we're headed down toward MP Park. Down here, so. This is a very urban trail, I can see already, so uh, anyway. Uh, 
came off of Park Avenue down this little trail here. It actually, I think, goes around the edge of um, Empty Park. There's a bird. Yeah, so here's Empty Park. Right here. So there's places there to stop for bathroom water if you need it on your trail. I'm gonna bring your tennis racket. Got that too. So this takes you back through the woods a little bit. This is kind of nice. Um, Wrightsville Avenue. So it's a little confusing there, but you kind of come out, you have to cross over under that light that you see there and then come over this way. And then the trail just keeps going straight. So I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of which direction to go. It's a little confusing. Parkway. It's actually the waterfall there. <laughs> I'm gonna go over a bridge. And I think right here, this building is a brewery. Right there. That's on Randall Parkway. Flying machine or something like that. This is going to take us out to Randall Parkway and then we'll follow that uh, all the way over to UNCW. We've made it to Carr Avenue, going across that crosswalk in a minute, and then on to UNCW. Alright, so we've made it to College Road. It's one of the as you can tell, one of the busiest streets in Wilmington. UNCW is over there, um, but we're gonna go across this crosswalk in a little bit. So this is a UNCW. Looks like they're adding on to the library here, but. Anyway. Up here to the Seahawk. Yeah, there's the Seahawk. And the campus. To the back side of UNCW. Uh, I'm not sure what this street is here, but kind of a residential area. The bike trail beside it. I think we're headed over toward Eastwood Road. Rose Avenue. This little strip here is on Rose Avenue, I think. We're still on that. Um, but anyway, you're supposed to ride. They have a little bike lane in the street here for a distance. This is all kind of behind UNCW.
Okay, so this brings us up to this bridge here. Should come along for the ride. Eastwood Road from UNCW and we're heading toward Wrightsville Beach the end of our trip there and then we got to ride all the way back so we're almost to um, Wrightsville Beach took a little pit stop here at Lidl to get some Gatorade and some snacks. Gotta have the snacks, you know. So um, we're gonna get ourselves together here and um, head back over to, or head toward Wrightsville Beach. All right, we just made it through a rough intersection back there. It was a military cutoff in Eastwood Road. Um, and now we're headed toward Wrightsville Beach. Um, there's some fast food here. Uh, landfalls straight ahead there on um, with the white wall and yeah so we're on our way to Wrightsville Beach the official end of the uh, uh, Cross City Trail, although it does go uh, on a bike, you go under the bridge and go back up and then you go over to Wrightsville Beach. We're going to do that, but we're just going to stop for here. So we accomplished our goal, now we got to backtrack do this way. What do you think about it? Pretty easy. Yeah. All flat, but it's nice. Very scenic. City scenic? Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty city scenic. But anyway, so if you ever want to bike across Wilmington, there are a lot of crosswalks to deal with. So you gotta pay attention to those and just wait on the lights. They eventually do change. Because that's the best advice. And bring water with you before stop along the way. <laughs> Came all this way from Halliburton Park to Wrightsville Beach. Had to go out, have to go out to the beach, check it out. So, show you what that looks like. <clears throat> Alright, that up there is Johnny Mercer's Pier. Right there. And so this is Wright School Beach. All right, we made it to the beach. Now for the trip back. Ooh. All right, we're gonna have to do one final check-in. We've made it back to Halliburton Park. Mm. How do I look? I have four hours and 26 minutes. So we want 29.6 miles. And our average speed was eight miles an hour. 2,400 calories were burnt in the process, according to the app. Anyway, we made it. I'm dead. We're dead. Okay, that's all for now.